Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going over how to model some stairs. A nice easy quick way of doing it. Um, first thing first, I'm going to go into file user preferences and add-ons and get, scroll down to rigging and make sure rigify is on. And the only reason why we want this is I'm going to hit um, shift and S and add a human rig. The reason why we want this is so we can get a general scale for stair. Uh, you know, so we're pretty much using it uh, rig as a reference point. So we're going to add ourselves a cube, scale it down, like so. I'm thinking that's going to be fine. Might be a bit okay, a bit too um big. So I did hit one of five, so I'm in orthographical three, and it's pretty much about a quarter of the leg. So something about there, I'm guessing this there, uh, what this there would roughly look like I'm guessing. So now I'm going to select the whole thing, scale that along the X, like so. Okay. And now I'm pretty much done with this rig. That rig can go. I don't need it. We're going to click on our stair. We're going to now add a array modifier, like so. And we don't want it going along the x, so we set this to zero. We want it to go along the y by one, and we want it to go up by one. And now we can just pretty much ramp that up. And Personally, it's still looking a bit funky. Um, I'm going to see if I bring this out a bit, if that helps. Shank back. And bring that down a little. Bit more. About that, okay. No, no, that's a bit funny. Right. So you don't fiddle with that to get your right right um so if you want and uh, let's say okay we got 10 stairs make that even mm. okay this probably isn't going to be perfect anyway but uh, just kind of roughly going for it all right now we're going to object mode we hit apply and now you just left with floating stairs if that's what you are so then you pretty much got it oh hang on actually i'm going to undo that a sec and I'm going back onto this one so I still got my array modifier and I'm going to add a loop cut here and a loop cut here if you want to make a internal stairs with carpet on it yeah, that's pretty much round this edge out a little bit and it kind of gives it a bit more of a natural carpet y look uh, we could also give that a smooth shading and do a edge split like so and it just sink that there okay there, it's going to be right. right. Now, if I apply this modifier, we can leave the edge split as it is. Uh, what we can do now is select all of these from underneath, like so. And do that. And we're going to hit SZ0, and that flattens that. Turn the magnet back on, and we want to set it to face. And we bring this down, like so. And now we're going to bring it up, and connect it up to there. And now you've got yourself some stairs. Most stairs would have like a bouncer, so we can pretty much do that now if you want. So, 
all we're going to do is uh, mm, yeah right. we're going to add a cube and just get out of stand turn that magnet to what just go that down a bit more oh 7.5 said right going to be bringing it about here and here and it's scattered it boom so scale that down like so okay and three and five and just go down and line it up like so okay now this part is going to be about here and extrude that up about about there and then we can just extrude this piece out all the way back over here like so and bring that up to about there okay and now we're going to add I don't know 10 loop cuts and what we can do now is select this one uh, you probably want to add more loop cuts so so just select them hit E zero enter and it's move them up yeah you definitely want more loop cuts and make it a lot more thinner but uh, you can do that in real time all right and we hit E zero enter again just scale that up and now what we can do is delete these like so delete the top parts as well delete faces delete that and that delete faces and select them and hit F and fill them in like so now you still now you've got yourself a balancer and we could also extrude this up like so and extrude that up a little bit more and do a little fine tuning for that part here something like that As you can kind of see, it is a way too wide anyway. But what we could do is do a loop selection, hopefully. No, okay, we can't do loop selection now. Um, maybe if I hit three, five, Z, and deselect that, and we can hopefully. Click these and these and these and then um, double hit G and move that up like so. Hmm. What's going on here? Okay. Go and select that and double hit G. Hit move them up like so. And then uh, try the same thing for this and hopefully it will work. No, it's being weird about it. Right. Uh, 
Um, okay, I'm going to set this to normal. No. Yeah, it's it back to global. Okay, let's see if I can move this side. Double hit G. Okay. Don't know why that is. Um, and then you do the same for these. Just move them up like so. And that thing need to be over there as well. Let's see if we can do the same thing with this one. Oh no, it wants to work. Brilliant. Okay. Might have been something to do with that. Um we're going to move this down, so double hit G. Like so. And we can do move that down. Okay, now we've got ourselves a nice little bouncer. If we could select the bottom part. Like so, and it's being deformed up here. Don't know why, but we turn the magnet on, and we get this piece on the right line. Okay, so we're going to select from up here to down here. Hit SZ zero, and we pretty much bring that all the way down, like so. Um, so ain't going on here, so we're going to delete this. So delete faces. Oops, sorry. Uh, uh, go. Uh, no, we're not. That piece back. Uh, so I'm going to rebuild this part up. So I'm going to hit E, enter, and bring this down. And I'm going to hit F on that. And F there, and select that part and this piece right here, and just hit F. And don't worry about that part, we'll just sort that out right now. Uh, we select that, and we set this to edge, and bring it down to here, and voila, we've got ourselves a nice little staircase. And if you wanted, um, the balance uh, be a bit more curved, we could hit control B and bevel that like so. And we could also smooth that out and add a edge split. Like so, alright. And let's say if you wanted um, another bounce on the other side, we could do it, make ourselves a nice little wall. So we rotate this by 90 along the Y, 75, and we're going to bring this over here. Go in edit mode. Go into edit mode. So with ready in edit mode, so we bring this up here, like so, okay, bring both of them up there, oops, there you go, then. Right. like so, and we do move this up, and there you could move this piece down, like so, I uh, don't want to move them out of the way of the scene a little bit more. Alright. And I'm not sure what way our normal is facing. So I'm going to select that, hit N. Actually, we don't need to select that. We're going to check normals here. Okay, the normal going that way. So we're going to need to flip the normal. So yep, we select that and flip direction on normal under uh, um, sh shading. Uh, I don't know what that is. Yeah, under this tab here, and uh, flip that. And uh, that, that 
going to be better. You do want to make sure that blue arrow is facing this inside of the scene. So we can turn that off now. We can turn that off now. And what we could do as well as the, the carpet is kind of sticking up a bit. Actually. The stairs are kind of sticking up a little bit too much. We could select these and move them up. Just move them up a little bit to hide the stairs. All right. And now we could make another cube. Go in edit mode 7.5. Said, scale this down. Scale that along the Y. Something about there. It's going to be alright. And we're going to scale that down along the X a little bit. Like so. Go and hit uh, 3. And bring this up. Just go that down along the way a little bit more. Alright. We can go in. We can actually just rotate it so actually along the X. So rotate it about 90 degrees. Was it? Is, that, is that about 90? I don't know. Um, so yeah. Just rotate that a little bit more. Lining it up with the other one. Like that, and hit E zero enter, and we pull this out, and we're going to hit S and Y and zero, like so, and we can select in here, and in here hit I, just bring that in, like so. And that can attach that to the wall. Select the whole thing. And just move it over. And that's pretty much our staircase made. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Um, thank you for watching. If you liked it, um, comment, subscribe, um, thumbs up. So thank you. Um, stay tuned. Catch you later.